So the Illumina are on their way to Helldivers 2. In this video, we go over everything we know about the Illuminate, uh, how they are coming to this game, proof we have from their minds and leaks, and also what we've learned about each individual enemy and how terrifying this enemy will be when it hits this game. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I had a winner of my previous 2100 super credit giveaway is seen on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below. Now, do you guys want to win 2100 super credits or a copy of this game? Well, it's as simple as this. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Let's try and reach 44 likes. That would be incredible. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave me a comment down below. Winner will be picked from the comments section and announced on my next Howl Divers 2 video. So good luck. Okay, so a brief backstory to the Illuminate for players who didn't play Howl Divers 1 as this enemy faction was a part of that game. Okay, so highly sophisticated, their civilization has endured for several hundred thousands of years. They call themselves the Squitch, I believe that's pronounced, and are originally an aquatic species. These creatures dressed in ceremonial robes have managed to create a vast and extremely complex neural network for space travel. The species have since taken their first uh, tentative steps towards the stars, produced weapons of mass destruction in large scale and of such are something that the people of Super Earth cannot ignore. Now with the Illuminate there are 12 different enemy types, well from Helldivers 1 anyway, and now I won't go through each one in regards to what they do, uh, because the majority of what we are seeing here will return within Helldivers 2 and offer something different. But those Helldivers 1 Illuminate enemies were placed into 5 different categories, Scouts, Inventory, Tank, Elite and Master. So what actually happened to the Illuminate enemy? What happened within Helldivers 1? Well, if you believe the Super Earth propaganda, they were exiled, pushed out of the galaxy. Now, it was only a matter of time before we saw them return. And while going off data mined files, the Illuminate will make a return bigger and better than ever. Now, the first few bits of information which completely confirm this are data mined audio files. Now the first is Kara Kelly with that breaking news and the others are from the Democracy Officer and many other in-game sources. Check these out. Good evening, I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. What you're looking at here is recently released footage from the Ministry of Defense showing an interstellar object that seems to resemble an illuminate void ship. The Illuminate have long been considered eradicated following the First Galactic War. But this video is causing some to question if any somehow survived. Officials say they have not yet confirmed whether the object is truly Illuminate in origin, but that they are considering all possibilities. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. What I am about to share with you is of the highest order of secrecy. Our analysts have detected illuminate energy readings in the area surrounding the singularity created by the dark fluid. The possibility of their survival is now raised. You are to deploy the dark fluid, an illuminate technology discovered at the end of the first galactic war. This exotic material yet holds many mysteries, but for now, we will use it to secure Liberty's future. History matters. At the end of the First Galactic War, we magnanimously allowed the Illuminate to flee the galaxy. Now, they're back. Why? Because they hate peace. Did you know? The scientific term for a group of squids is a massacre of Illuminate. All such groups should indeed be massacred as outlined in the Proactive Defense Initiative, Chapter 19, Section D. In the First Galactic War, we cast the Illuminate from our galaxy and secured the half-human cyborg safely in the minds of Cyberstan. Our enemies in this war will do no better. Senator John Killjoy Jr. declares, The Illuminate are back, and they bring with them the threat of total annihilation, which is why I say 
Let us annihilate them first. Alert. Liberation of currently orbited planet from Illuminate. Menace has ended in temporary defeat. Planet remains under Illuminate control. Did you know? No one has ever truly rebelled against Super Earth. Our top scientists have proven that all rebels were actually acting under Illuminate mind control. Tip number 419. Illuminate outposts are often heavily shielded and are best overcome with weapons boasting extreme destructive power. Alert. Liberation of currently orbited planet from Illuminate Menace has ended in absolute victory. Planet now under Super Earth control. Criticism of Super Earth's ideals are a telltale sign of Illuminate mind control. Help critics by turning them over to your local science officer for re-education. Alert! Defense of currently orbited planet from Illuminate invasion has ended in temporary defeat. Planet now under Illuminate control. Alert! Defense of currently orbited planet from Illuminate invasion has ended in absolute victory. Planet remains under Super Earth control. The Illuminate basically handed us this planet destroying super weapon. <laughs> Doesn't seem too bright for a highly advanced alien. <laughs> Guess that's why they're dead now. <laughs> now, these will eventually play out in game and tie into the mass invasion players are indeed expecting. But there's more than just this. We can actually take a look at these enemies and what they will look like in game thanks to Iron Sights, who is fully rendered and textured, uh, data mined models of the Illuminate enemies. Also, thanks to Iron Sights for a ton of exclusive details we have on these enemies too and what they will offer in game. But even before this, people, even before we had these models, a mishap by Arrowhead more or less confirmed that uh, the Illuminate will eventually hit the game. And this happened probably a month back. It showcased the Illuminate taking over a planet, which they then quickly realized and fixed. But yes. Okay, so back to the enemies. And there's a few, if not all, of who we knew were a part of the faction uh, within Helldivers 1. They will return to this game. Now, things will have changed, obviously. But hey, and we first started seeing this probably over a month ago where we saw the showcase of these real early models you're seeing on screen now these were no doubt confirmed to be the illuminate enemy and these were taken directly from the pc games files so they were always here and hiding awaiting to make an appearance as we know but as time has gone on we've had further updates and patches and within these guys have been the inclusion of many more details on the illuminate enemies and again Thanks to Iron Sights, we can actually see some of these enemies and their animations too. First up, guys, we have the Summoner. So what do we know about this enemy? Well, first up, guys, the Summoner can summon a ghoul enemy type, which we'll take a look at in a quick second. The Summoner can slash with a whip, can also taunt, retreat, pray, and also summon adepts. Pretty cool. Okay, so the enemy we're next going to take a look at is one that the summoner can indeed summon, the ghoul. So the ghoul can slash right, left, up, down in all different directions, obviously. This enemy can also pounce on and at a diver. They can bury themselves within the ground. They will taunt you. They'll make strange noises upon attacking you, which I'd probably expect. And it's also said that they can sleep. So maybe, guys, you're... Walk past these and you'll see them asleep in the distance. When they're notified of your noise, they're going to come and attack you. Simple as that. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Adept. This is a mage, by the way, and this is also another enemy that can be summoned by the Summoner. So what do we know about this enemy? Well, they can dodge. They can call for allies upon seeing a diver. Uh, they can defend certain areas, possible outposts it said they will take moments out of their garden to pray uh, they can wield magic obviously being a mage they can also guys use abilities one called void flame which sounds absolutely terrifying but pretty cool anyway next up guys we have the illusionist now the illusionist can also summon those ghouls the illusionist can fire multiple projectiles illusionist can mind scramble 
sounds pretty cool i've heard about this where they can basically invert your aim invert your controls too and it even says here that they can inverse your aim uh, the illusionist can force choke the illuminate has a blink ability basically you're going to be able to teleport no doubt the illusionist can shockwave they can pray and can also fire something called a death ball terrifying next up guys we have an illuminate enemy labeled as the guy so what does this dude do now we know he has a staff and it's believed he can drop this staff too they can uppercut they can do an overhead slash with this staff they can dodge they can aim the staff so it's probably going to be able to fire things at you they can call for reinforcements upon spotting a diver these guys will also pray they will guard and they can also teleport but this may be used for how they spawn in so cool next up guys we have the big boys known as the tripods now we know now that there are two different variants of these one being a little bigger so what do these guys do well they can fire horizontal vertical uh, beams erratically so yeah all over the shop they can fire lightning from their eye they also have an alternative firing mode upon their eye being destroyed they can fire a death ball they can teleport this is set used for their spawn they patrol obviously and they will bark at us hell divers really weird <laughs> okay so next up guys we have the outcast so the outcast can melee they can fire a flash beam they can combat dodge these guys can also teleport for an ability and spawn they also call for allies they will taunt you and they can also pray next up guys we have the observer these guys can fire lightning they will also bark at divers they can scan an area and they also set off an alarm to alert other illuminate to your presence so cool next up guys we have the pathfinder now pathfinder there's not much in regards to details on them we know they can equip a weapon aim and fire this thing and that's more or less about it and lastly guys we have the obelisk now the obelisk again there's not much in regards to even an image on this dude uh, but all we know is they can fire and they can also die well yeah that's quite obvious so yes people a few enemies there confirmed to be coming and well i honestly cannot wait for the introduction of this enemy now i feel a lot has changed in regards to the illuminate uh, we know from how divers one and the enemy faction in regards to the illuminate when it will arrive in how divers two seems as though their weaponry may have kind of evolved the illuminate won't be the same race people probably remember from how divers one so to speak uh, what they will now bring to the battlefield i believe will be totally different but we still have a lot to learn about this faction where did they go what have they learned and more importantly what can we learn from them interesting days ahead guys now in regards to when they will arrive in game right now we have no idea players have speculated and think it won't be long i ain't sure i feel there's still so much to learn about the automatons and the bugs before we have to deal with a new enemy in the illuminate but who knows i could be wrong what do you think let me know down below but there we have it guys with the illuminate enemy faction and what we know is coming to the game guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more how divers be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one